What's going on lads, what's the crack? Welcome back and to the channel and we're going to be taking a look at our last club pack. So I have done Inter, AC, Manchester United, Bayern and Barcelona. I'll give you my kind of ultimate review after these and I probably will. This is my other profile so I haven't bought any of these but on my main account we have actually bought and tested three of these teams. So I've yet to upload the first, the last one but we will probably get the Arsenal pack as well for our main account. As you can see here, this is our Road to Glory one, so we've only got 125 coins. But anyway, I have tested these players. I've played co-op. I've played multiple games with them, with all of these players, and with different versions of these cards, right? 1,500 coins, the Arsenal pack, is probably the best, most bang for your buck, right? Obviously, what comes into it is going to be the plus one to the low pass. It's not really that important. And also the possession game play style that Arteta plays, as well as getting match experience points for players aged 23 years below uh, or old or below is increased by 100%. Those are kind of a second thing, right? The main thing with these packs is the actual players that you get within the pack, right? So you've got Saka, you've got Declan Rice, Martinelli, Ramsdale, White, Tommy Asu, Odegaard, Jesus, Saliba, Havertz and Gabriel, right? So you've got three center backs, you've got a left back that can kind of cross in um, into different positions. You've also got your wingers, you've got a striker, you've got a DMF and you've got a goalie. This is probably one of the best bang for your buck packs, as I said. Now we're going to go over to eFootballDB and I'm going to show you dedicated training guides with these cards for Arteta because bear in mind you're going to be getting the plus one two low pass right so we're actually going to start with Declan Rice here so as we see here Arteta is playing the possession game and he gives a plus one to every stat that you're going to see here his plus one for low pass for every low pass stat you see for all of these players right so it's 1500 coins for this I'm a bit disappointed with some of the packs but the Arsenal pack especially if you're an Arsenal fan or even if you're just looking you know to invest 1500 coins and have a really solid team that can take you probably to Division 3, Division 2, if you were just playing this game fairly casually and you want a really good starter pack, this is a really good option to get. I uh, Look, you can still get the standard cards, man. I mean, I've said this time and time again. You can still play with the standard cards and there isn't a massive difference, right? But if you are looking to get a shortcut and actually have the coins and you want to spend coins, this Arsenal pack is probably one of the better packs on selection, right? Apart from Arteta being possession game, which is hard to play with. So that's the build we've gone for with Declan Rice, 12 into defending, 6 into dexterity, and of course 5 into passing and aerial strength, and 4 into lower body. That low pass is going to get a plus 3 with the manager boost and the team playstyle boost, and of course the boosted stat as well, which is the plus 1 from Arteta. So that's the Declan Rice build, he's a brilliant kind of destroyer slash anchorman role that you can play with him is very very nice and he's kind of end game level now i know this one isn't down as an anchorman that declan rice is still a destroyer he has got some player skills that you can see there which we'll get into um but all of these cards as you see here it's pretty much all about the stats right and training them for this player just try this build if you have got the artel pack you're struggling with declan rice play him in a double man pivot with odegaard if you are going that route right speaking of odegaard we do have him here right we'll get back to saka in a sec Odegaard is somebody that I've definitely slept on as well, right? Because he's not a traditional kind of box-to-box -box and he's not a silky attacking midfielder. He doesn't have that pop and, you know, pace and space type play from your attacking midfielders, which I like in either possession game out wide or long ball counter. But this card is very, very nice, right? Bear in mind, you're going to be getting the boost to the low pass here. So he's going to have 95 overall rating for low pass. And of course, he's also going to have the lofted pass, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, balance, and stamina all around the 90 mark, the 90 plus mark, and obviously stamina is going to be 89. Acceleration is going to be 84 with the boost for the manager as well. So it's a very, very decent attack and midfielder card. If you are going to look for him, I definitely think he's good. Saka and uh, Jesus and Martinelli are all very similar cards, as you see there, right? So Saka is all about pace and power when he's running with the ball. He's got brilliant balance, acceleration, speed. Ball control and dribbling are all going to be in 90 or above for the stats. That's all you really need from him. There's the build there. You can pause that at any time. And of course, we also have Jesus. He's going to have 90 in offensive awareness, uh, ball control, dribbling, and acceleration and balance. He's going to have 90 or 90 plus in those stats. The only weakness with this card is his finishing. But Jesus has ripped me apart a few times. This card specifically has ripped me apart. 
He just seems to be really, really nice on the pitch and he plays way above his stats, which you'll find that some players will do that. Martinelli, I would say definitely keep him as a super sub type player, even though this card doesn't have super sub. That's the build we've gone for there, 4 4 10, 10 5, so quite easy. You can kind of alter this around. We've only got 78 finishing, which will go to an 80 with the, with the boost, but it's all about balance, acceleration, and dribbling with this guy and ball control and speed you've got everything that you could possibly want from a winger here to cut in and just cause havoc from maybe the 60th minute on or else start him for the first half and then explode uh, down the wing a couple of times with him he's still able to finish as well because he's got some nice player skills and of course i would also mention that we've got a lot of center backs in here so we've got Saliba and gabriel we've also got at the end here ben white and tommy yashu these guys are all very similar, right? So Gabriel, you're going to boost up his defense uh, and get everything into at least 88. And then his speed and acceleration are going to be 75 apiece, which is pretty decent, as well as have an 80 plus jump and a physical contact that will be 90 plus. Very, very nice. We also have the same with Saliba here. His teammate in command is going to be more of a kind of, I would say, a, a, an explosive center back. And he definitely has an amazing card. I don't think that Saliba has played as well in the game that his stats kind of say, but this card is very, very decent. I was impressed with his player of the week that they released a couple of months ago, and this card looks to be extremely solid and like that one as well. You've got the physical contact, and you've got the defense stats that are all going to be 90 or above, and of course, you've got 75 acceleration and 80 plus speed. What more could you want with this card? Apart from his header there, that is a bit of a, a downside on that. And then, of course, Ben White and Tommy Ashu need no introduction. You're going to have 80 speed and acceleration for each stat for Ben White. He's also going to get a plus three boost to his low pass. So you can play him as a center back. I think he goes to a 95 overall as a center back. You're going to have all these defensive stats into the 90 plus zone as well. And Tommy Ashu, I have said that big time Tommy Ashu is probably the best center back in the game. That's a non-legend. And this card is not that far away from him. If you missed out on that card, obviously you're going to have miss out on a little bit of speed and acceleration. But in terms of playing him as a center back, incredible. I mean, he maxes out on pretty much all his defensive stats. Still has good tight possession at 80. Still has 80 plus header. Still has 90 in the jump. And uh, his stamina and speed and acceleration are all quite decent as well. And that kind of brings us on to our goalkeeper and Havertz. And uh, that's kind of it. So Ramsdale for me with the build there, four into aerial strength, 10 into goalkeeper one, eight into goalkeeper two and three. That's going to give you the awareness and reflexes above 90. We don't really need catching or clearing and we don't really need anything more than what we have here. This guy is kind of a bit of an enigma because he's got really high jump awareness and reflexes while having a bit of low reach. Usually the taller keepers have lower, have higher reach. So he definitely is one to watch as well. And then last but not least, we have Kai Havertz here who went for them in the summer. Very, very solid player as well. I'll admit I haven't really played that much with Havertz. He, he isn't a card that I would really use, um, especially because there's a lot of really solid center forwards that you can get for quite cheap, right? But if you are looking at getting this Arsenal pack, when you compare it to the rest of them, I've said on my live stream that I would probably rate this Arsenal pack very, very high. Um, depending on where you want to go with the game and how you want to play, right? Ten Hag, because of his quick counter or his long ball counter formation, is going to be, I would suppose, the meta, right? Because he gives a plus one to speed, which means you can train a lot of players to 77 in the stats and you can get a plus three, which will bring it into the 80 mark with the speed, or else you could train somebody to 82 in speed and have 85, or you train it to 87 and have 90 plus speed. So I would say that Manchester United pack is very, very strong, but I think in terms of the players, you have literally got six or seven players here that you could slot in and compete with Division 1, Division 2 guys. You can't really say that for the rest of the squads here. So, and especially Arsenal are on good form as well compared to Manchester United, I suppose. So that's kind of come into it. It pains me to say that as a United fan. But anyway, let me know if you guys have bought any of the club packs. I have now reviewed and broke down all of these. If you want any more answers to any questions, let me know. Get in touch in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're liking the daily content. And if you're new here, welcome. Any questions, get them below. And I'll see you in a live stream very, very soon.